Okay, so you only want legit people with legit emails registering into your WordPress site. And to do something like that, you would ask them to verify their email. So as soon as they're done registering into your WordPress site, after they fill out the registration form, you'll send them a verification link to their emails. And if they have access to their email inbox, they'll simply click on the link, after which they'll be verified, and only then they'll be able to log into your site and access whatever material they want to access. I'm Sid and I'll show you how to do something like that within your WordPress site. Before we get started though, if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter and drop a like, subscribe, let's get started. All right, boys and girls, here we are within the computer screen. Now let's get started with WordPress registration with email verification. First of all, we're going to have to install a plugin. So let's go within plugins, click on add new plugin and search for user registration and membership. And once you've searched for user registration and membership, you'll see this plugin right here. Simply click on install now. One of the best user registration plugins to really enhance your WordPress registration system. So yeah, simply install this plugin. And once it has been installed, click on activate. Bada bing, bada boom, we're done with the installation and activation. And as soon as it's complete, you'll be redirected to their setup wizards. Simply click on get started here. And after this, it's going to show you what sort of registration type you want. Now, this plugin does not just help you with your simple registrations, but it can also handle memberships. So if you want to create a membership site, I have a separate tutorial for that. Currently, I'm just going to go with normal registration, click on next. And here it is just showing you an information as to what changes it has made to your site. First of all, it's created a new registration form for you. It has enabled guest registration and it has disabled the default WordPress login and registration system which is really bad in terms of security in terms of customization looks if you want to enable it by the way you can from the settings so don't even worry about it and it has also created a few different pages here a my account page for your users a login page lost password page and a registration page so simply click on next here and this right here is going to be the main piece of the puzzle within general settings you have user approval and login options so if I click on this drop down here you'll see four different options you have an auto approval system with manual login, auto approval and auto login. So as soon as a user registers, they'll be automatically approved and they'll be logged in as well. That's basically what this setting does. Admin approval. So if someone registers, then they will not be approved to your site until an admin approves of their registration. And finally, we've got auto approval after email confirmation. So this is what we're looking for, auto approval after email confirmation. As soon as the user fills out a registration form, an email will be sent to them. And once they click on the link, they'll be verified after which they'll be approved. They can log in after that and do whatever they want to. All right, guys, a very short disclaimer here while I continue this video. So you probably see the setting right here called user approval and login option. And currently this is a part of the setup wizard. Now, for some reason, if you went ahead and you skip the setup wizard or if you have the plugin installed already then you'll have to find the setting and you can find this setting from within user registrations registration form simply click on edit and go within your form settings and you'll see the user approval and login option for that form right here and you can simply choose auto approval after email confirmation and yeah now the video will continue as it is from the setup wizard and yeah this option right here prevent wp dashboard access if you know what this means you can fill around with it. If you don't, you can just leave it at subscriber. It is okay. So after that registration settings here, if you want to enable strong passwords, so if you want your users to have a certain password strength requirement, then you can set it up from here. You can leave it at very weak, weak, medium, strong. I'm just going to turn it off for now. Default user rule. If you don't know what you're doing, just leave this at subscriber and you'll be good to go. Click on next here and you're all set. And if you want to help this plugin by sharing non-sensitive data, then you can share that data and you can also subscribe to their newsletter for security updates, features, exclusive deals, etc. So if you want to, you can simply click on this button right here. And now let's go ahead and let's view our registration page first. All right, so this right here is our new registration page with a registration form. And yeah, but right now the registration form is very simple. It's got a username, user email, password, confirm password. If you want to edit this form, by the way, then you can simply go back within your WordPress admin menu go within user registration and membership you'll see this all forms menu right here simply click on it and you can edit this default form and in here you can make changes to this form however you want to if you want to get a phone field in here then what you would do is you would get a number field drag and drop it in there just change its label to phone and to open this field options by the way you can simply click on the field 
If I want to make this field required so people cannot submit this form without filling out this field, then I'll simply make it required here. And it's got a whole bunch of other options as well that you can fill around with. So I make sure to explore this plugin. I've got many different tutorials on this plugin on the Theme Girl YouTube channel. So yeah, you can check that out as well. This plugin also has a premium version if you want extended features, but quite frankly, the free version is very, very capable. So yeah, for now, I'm just gonna delete this because as it is, the form is enough for me. I'm just gonna update the form. And yeah, if you want to preview this form anywhere, you can use this short code right here, or they also have a Gutenberg block, which you will find it within your block inserter. So yeah, let's not even worry about that. Now, if you remember this plugin's setup wizard, then you would remember that we set our approval setting to auto approval after email confirmation. So let's see how this plugin handles emails. To simply find the email settings, you'd go within user registration and membership settings, and you'll find email right here. And this is from where you would control every single email that is outgoing from this plugin. So yeah, now, first of all, let's go ahead and let's test out your email connection. Now, outgoing emails from your WordPress website is generally a really tricky thing. If you don't know what SMTP is, then I would say you do some research. You use a plugin like a smart SMTP right here. This basically ensures your emails are delivered properly. So yeah, let's first go ahead and let's test out if our emails are being sent or not. So first of all, I'm going to send a test email here to one of my emails. I'm simply gonna click on send email and it will show us whether or not the email has been sent. And here you can see it says test email was sent successfully. Please check your inbox. And that is because I've set up SMTP. So I know this is going to work, but for you, if it it doesn't work then most probably it is because of SMTP so make sure SMTP is set up so now let's go ahead and let's check out the email that we're going to send to our users as soon as they have filled out the registration form and the email that we're looking for is this one right here email confirmation if I hover over the tooltip it says email sent to the user with a verification link when email confirmation to register option is chosen and that's exactly what we've done let's click on configure here so here this is what your email is going to look like you'll have an email subject which says please confirm your registration registration on blog info, which is basically the site name, I suppose. So your email is going to look something like this. It's going to say email subject, please confirm your registration on and this smart tag right here called blog underscore info. This is basically going to get your site name. And you've finally got this email content right here, which says, hi, username. This basically dynamically pulls the user's name and their name will be displayed here. You have registered on blog info, again, your blog name. Please click on the verification link and a link will be generated here. And as soon as a user clicks on this, they will be verified and approved. So this is what our email is going to look like. You can also see its preview right here. So if I click on preview, yeah, we have a very basic design. It's going to say, hi, you have registered on Travel02, which is my site's name. And once they click on this link, they'll be verified. So now let's see this thing in action. Let's go ahead, let's open this site on an incognito window. So I'm going to open their registration page, not there, but my site's registration page. I am currently interacting with this site as a normal user. So let's go ahead and let's fill this out. I'm just gonna fill out my username as test, my email, this is going to be my actual email. This is where I'm going to be receiving the email that we just set up, so yeah. So let's click on submit here and I should be registered into the site or my bad, I should be receiving an email. So yeah, there it is, user registered. Verify your email by clicking on the link sent to your email. So now let's go ahead, let's access my email inbox. And there it is, here I have a mail, please confirm your registration on Travel02. And as you can see, my username was test, so it says, hi test, you have registered on Travel02, my site's name. Please click on the verification link, click here to confirm registration, thank you. So currently, I've not clicked on that link, so I am not verified, right? So if I were to try and go within the login page of this site, and I were to log in with my email, or my username and the password, then what's gonna happen is it's gonna say your account is still pending approval. Verify your email by clicking on the link sent to your email. And if for some reason your users lose that email for whatever reason, then they can click on resend verification link right here and another mail will be sent to them. But for now, let's go ahead and let's click on this verification link right here click here and there it is as soon as I click on the link it will verify me and it will also log me in and it will redirect me to the my account page from where I can see my profile details and all that I can change my password I can upload a new profile picture if I wanted to and yeah you can do a lot more stuff within this my account page if you want an in-depth video on this plugin then yeah check out the theme girl youtube channel there's countless videos so yeah that's about it that is how you would create a registration form within your wordpress site with an email verification so i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did drop a like subscribe all the helpful links will be down in the description below make sure to check out the theme girls youtube channel for many more tutorials and i suppose that's about it for this video i'm sid and i'll see you whenever i'll see you take care